spectacular. The highlight is the non pro classic challenge final taken out by Steve Anderson for 223. Congratulations to you. Thank you. It seems to be your year to shine because you won the same event on the same horse just a few short months ago at Super Stakes. How does that feel? Oh, very good. Same horse. Good horse. Um, very good. Very excited. I got a little carried away down there, but um, yeah, it's yeah, unbelievable. You were pumped, really. Obviously, it felt like a really good run. Can you it describe that at that moment? Did you think you really had it in the bag? I really did. I, I, I thought the last cow was really hard, and um, and we held it really strong. Um, and I knew we were clean, and and it felt really good. Can you remember much of your run? Can you take us through those three cows? Put us in the saddle. I, I did. Win, I did remember this, and I tried to. Um, it took me a minute, but. The first, we were going to cut um, the two red cows and a black cow that we knew. And that was really all I had. And uh, we were deep. So uh, the, red, the first red cow was right easy to find, and we cut it first. But I thought that I didn't uh, stay on it very long. And I looked up, and I had a minute 40, and Corey had the black cow, but it was up high. And I liked the red one better, and I thought I had time. So I went to the back fence, and it, it came up really good. It was, have to have a little luck. I was lucky. It come up right down up the side and I cut it. And, and by this time I know we're doing pretty good and I, um, I try to see what's on top and two cows popped out and they called a brown seal and the other was a black baldy with a white belly. And I knew the brown one wasn't good the first time and the white faced cow was good the first time. So I thought, well, I waited just a minute and carried it on out there and just tried to ride with the buzzer. Now that third cow was, um, you know, it already been cut before. Does yes. that make you nervous? Yeah. Um, I mean, I was like, uh, I, I knew what the other one was, and I, I was like, but I, John was telling me to come on and try to win, so I came on with it. So what was your game plan when you came out tonight? The winning score up to the point that you came out was a 218? I was just, I don't, didn't think about it. I don't ever think about any of that. I just tried to get my horse show real, you know, as best I can. Do you like showing the Will Rogers? I love showing the Will Rogers. It suits you, two titles in one year. Yeah, well just this year, to have a real good horse. What does it mean to have those two titles? It's very good, it's kind of like a legacy thing. It's, I've been cutting a long, long time. And, um, and to, to do that is just, like I said, it's, when you do it, it's real surreal for a little while. Like so, Carly said the other night, it's just like, wow. Because it takes so much work and you have to get through the rounds and all, and it just, and here it is. Yes, you have to let it sink in for a little bit. Yes. And enjoy the moment. Yeah. Um, now, little Mac, uh, how have you developed with his horse since the Super Stakes? What have you been working on? I just show him. John works him. Um, I didn't even work him on a cow here. Um, but I just try to wait as good as I can and ride as good as I can. And, and he's been very, very quiet and down the whole show. Do you watch your cows with John? John, yes, I do. He does. He's not in my herd, but yes, he sits and watches cows with me. Do you make your own decisions, or is it discussion? Take us through that process. Well, you, you, do you have? I have the reins, and I usually make my own decisions. But I darn sure listen to all my help. Um, Corey is especially strong, and Pedro, he knows cows better than I'll ever know. So I do listen to him. Um, but I, I'm in charge of my own run, and I know that. And as a non-pro, how do you choose your help? What do you, what do, you do to work that out? A comfort thing. I, I want my two turnback people to, to get along in, in how they do it. And, um, and I have the same herd holders, so there's no decision there. And what's next coming up with this horse and the lad? He'll go in a, real quick. In just a couple of weeks, he'll go to Amarillo and, and do the, the age event there. Plus, there's a Mercury cutting in. We'll probably try him there. If he's all sound and okay and everything's good. So you sound like uh, it's just going to be a fun year of showing. Yeah, he's six, so I've got to take my shots when I can. Well, enjoy it, and congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Okay, Steve Anderson. Mm -hmm. That's it for tonight, folks. Tomorrow we've got the first of the Amateur Classic Challenge and the World Youth Final starts. so make sure you watch the live webcast. Good night.